Assalamualaikum and greetings to everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a multi-level donut chart in PowerPoint. Okay, so I'm using PowerPoint 2016. So let's. This is the output. So let's start it. Create new slide. So I insert first. I want to make it blank. Okay, and I go to insert shapes. I choose. This one donut shapes, so I enlarge it. So be better to have a guide to know the center of the slides. Okay, I make it bigger. Okay. And then I want to enlarge the white circle. Okay. So how to make it center of this uh in this slide? So just select the shapes and go to shape format and go to arrange, align, and select align center and line middle so we will get the very center of the slide okay so I want to create second donut chart to put at the center so it will be a multi-level donut chart okay I want to change color Okay, for both shapes, I don't want outline, so just select no outline, no outline, I enlarge it, okay. Make it at the center, align, align center, and align middle. Okay. Now, let's um, create the line. So I'm using insert shapes rectangles. Okay, don't use lines because if you use lines, PowerPoint cannot mask, cannot do masking. So we have to select rectangle shape. So I put at the center here, make it small, a little bit smaller, more small. Okay, no outline. Okay, and then I want to change the color of the rectangle. Okay, and align it center, align, align center, align middle. Okay, now I want to have a total of 12 division shapes for the outer donut chart. And the inside donut chart, I want four division. Okay, so in order for us to get a 12 total outer donut shape, we have to divide by 360 degrees, divide by 12. Okay, or 180 degrees for half side, divide by 6. So we get, uh, so we have to make the angle of the rectangle shape to be 30 degrees. Let me show you. Okay. Oh, sorry, align center, align middle, okay. Okay, and then we go edit, copy, edit, paste the rectangle. 
So we get this one, put it in the center back, and we want to rotate it. Format main, rotation, change to 30 degrees. Okay. Edit, copy back, edit, paste. Plus 30 degrees more, you get 60 degrees. This ninety degrees. Okay, same step. Align it. the center horizontal. Make it rotation one hundred twenty degrees. And last but not least. One hundred fifty degrees. Okay. So to do the division masking in systematic ways, we can use we can see by selection pane. So all of this is the rectangle and this is dollar chart. Okay, first I want to do the outer donut chart first. So I hide this the inner uh, donut chart okay and then okay this is one two three four five six is for the division division of the outer circle i want i have to create another four line division which is the center here and the center vertical here and the center horizontal here to division to divide the inside donut chart so just copy paste. I have to create two more rectangle. Okay, and one more. Okay, select this one and hide this one and this one so we hide this one so and then I hide the inside donut chart so we focus to do masking for um, outer donut chart so let's do the masking select the donut chart first and then select the line so, so let's select the line and then go to shape format and this one merge shape we select subtract so we get this first vision and do the same step make sure we select this shape first and then we select the rectangle shape okay subtract same step select the donut shape first and then the rectangle shape subtract subtract Subtract. Okay, now we have the divisions of after donut chart. So let's do the inside division donut chart. So same step, select the inside donut chart, select the rectangle, go to shape format, and go to here, then go to subtract. Okay, then same step, select the donut chart, select the rectangle shape, then subtract. So we have two donut chart that already divided. Okay, so if we select the outer uh, donut chart, we cannot select the segments here. Segment here, one, two, three. Okay, the subdivision we cannot select. So how to do? 
uh, this to make sure that we can select all the segments okay just select the inside donut shape first and then select the outside donut shape first and go to merge shapes and select fragment see we are gonna have this uh, this change of shapes but uh, don't worry now if we select the segments we can change we can change and we can select the particular segments we change the colors okay so for the maybe this one for the left half of the outer donut shapes I want to change to blue color dark blue color and then for this one I want to change to light blue color okay and for this one I want to change to this color and then for this one I want to change to green this one for red and then this one maybe purple color okay let's zoom in so for this line you see here just delete it sorry it 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 So we zoom more. Okay. All right. So we have the shapes. And for the next step is to insert the text. So I'm using word art. Why I'm using word art because with word art I can do transform of the text to follow path. Okay. Because the shapes that we have here is not uh, straight. It's a slightly uh, curved shapes. maybe I want to decrease the font size okay if we select the small rectangle here we can control the curve text along path. Okay. All right. So this is the result of this tutorial: a multi-level donut charts using Microsoft PowerPoint. Thank you for your attention.